Why is the August moon called the Sturgeon moon? Well, traditionally, August is the month that sturgeon are most easily caught in the waters of the Great Lakes and Lake Champlain. Other names are the Corn Moon, Harvest Moon, Rising Moon, and Black Cherry Moon. These names recognize the harvesting time for crops. There are 29 species of sturgeon found in the oceans and rivers of the Northern Hemisphere. Like salmon, sturgeon ascend rivers to spawn. For the Atlantic sturgeon, sexual maturity for the female is reached at 8 to 12 years of age. Sexual maturity for other species of sturgeon isn't reached until the female is 20 years old. The female sturgeon only reproduces once every four years. The long wait to sexual maturity, along with the extended reproduction time, limits the species' ability to repopulate its numbers in the wild quickly. In fact, the sturgeon can take up to three times longer in comparison to other fish like salmon, trout, and bowfin. Sturgeon are bottom feeders, sucking up food in their mouths. Their diet includes insect larvae, crayfish, shrimp, snails, clams, and leeches. Sturgeons grow to be between 7 and 10 feet in length, with some species reaching a whopping 26 feet. When it comes to lifespan, the Atlantic sturgeon can live up to 60 years. However, some species can live up to 150 years. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, a conservation group having governments, businesses, and individuals as members, almost all sturgeon are endangered, some critically so. Of the 29 species listed on the ICUN's red list, only two are stable, with another two showing signs of increasing. Visit the ICUN's website at IUCN.org to learn more about the status of the sturgeon and other animals, fungus, and plants. How did the sturgeon species become so endangered? Overfishing, pollution, and habitat loss are among the reasons. When it comes to overfishing, why is the fish so sought after? In a word, caviar. Caviar is a delicacy known the world over. Traditionally, almus caviar is the most expensive in the world. The word almus comes from the Russian word meaning diamond. Almus caviar, the eggs or roe of the sturgeon, comes from the rare albino Iranian beluga sturgeon swimming in the southern Caspian Sea. 
The roe of the Iranian beluga is taken from the fish when it's between 60 and 100 years old. While most beluga caviar is light to dark gray in color, almas caviar is white and golden. How expensive is almas caviar? The Guinness World Book of Records lists almas caviar as the costliest caviar with a price tag of $34,500 per kilo or $980 an ounce. But the records at Guinness may need to change as a new competitor has arrived on the scene. The Strotarga Bianca caviar, a creation of the Austrian fish farmer Walter Gruel, will cost you $40,000 for just a teaspoon. By the kilo, it sells for $300,000. It is said to have a velvety and buttery taste. Why is this caviar so expensive? Mr. Gruel laces his caviar with 22 karat gold. Yes, gold at 22 karat and above is edible, though there is no nutritional benefits that come from consumption. Eating gold dates back to the Romans, but it is merely an ostentatious practice among the rich. While the rich enjoy the gold standard in caviar, the rest of us can enjoy caviar at more affordable prices. The cheapest caviar coming in at a popper's price of a dollar per ounce. This caviar comes from the salted and preservative added rows of the capelin, lumpfish, and tobiko. Tobiko is the common orange colored row often used in the making of sushi rolls. Balaso cured non-sturgeon row are quality substitutes for the real stuff and is priced at five to fifteen dollars per ounce. Hackleback is also an affordable caviar. Hackleback comes from the American sturgeon, the paddlefish or spoonbill found in the waters of the Mississippi and Tennessee rivers, the faster growing species of sturgeon. You can find prices of hackleback at around thirty dollars for a one ounce glass jar. Now that you know more about the sturgeon and caviar, sit back and relax as you enjoy the sturgeon moon rising. Thank <laughs> you.